Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mandy. So a tip that I have is to never go to the grocery store hungry and sometimes I follow that and sometimes I don't. But on this day, I did not go to the grocery store hungry. I actually started snacking around on a little charcuterie board from Appy Hour. The Appy Hour box is curated artisan cheeses, fresh charcuterie, and more delivered right to your door. The way it works is they send you a monthly menu. You can choose whether to order the box or schedule for another time or just skip it that month. Each box is created with three principles using unique items, expertly curated, and a complete spread. If you order now, you will get free brie for a full year. A medium box serves two to four and a large box serves four to six. In your first box, you will get the free brie and in every box thereafter for a full year. You will also receive details about your next box and what's gonna be in it, what theme it will be. You will be able to reschedule your box whenever you need to. If you're planning a special occasion or gathering, you can schedule around that time. And also you can always skip or cancel at any time. Happy Hour believes caring tastes better when things are ethically sourced. You're also supporting small producers using clean ingredients and sustainable packaging. Happy Hour sent my family and I the taste of Ireland with two exceptional cheeses that take center stage in this curation each steeped in Irish tradition and craftsmanship, complemented by a diverse ensemble of meats and accompaniments. Each cheese is individually wrapped and on the tag, it tells you a little bit of the back history of the cheese, where it originated from, which I thought was really interesting. In each box, you will get a card with a QR code that you can scan and it will tell you more about your curated items, flavor pairings, and drink recommendations. Like I said earlier, my box was the Taste of Ireland, so it's showing all of the cheeses that are in the box and what you can pair the cheeses with and also wine that you can pair the cheese with. If you would like to join Appy Hour, I will have all the information down below. There will be a link and you can also use my coupon code MANDY, M-A-N-D-Y. I will have that all down in the description below. Today I went to Publix and Aldi at Publix. I got a ton of stuff and most of it was buy one get one free. There were so many good items on BOGO this week. Um, some of them they were out of and I did not get to get them. But I'll go back in a couple of days and see if they've stocked it back up and get those deals as well. But let me go ahead, flip you around and show you everything from Publix first. All right, the ice cream, the Blue Bunny mini swirls were on BOGO. So I got the strawberry and then just the um, vanilla dipped in chocolate. The Briars ice cream was also BOGO. So I got so I got double cookie crumble and the Neapolitan. Raisins were on sale as well. And I did buy a canister from Aldi. I went to Aldi first and then I went to Publix and I didn't know that these were BOGO. So I did go ahead and get two of them because um, Jason eats them like crazy. Kaysen loves them and they're not gonna go to waste. And they were cheaper getting them BOGO um, at Publix than actually at Aldi. So I wished I knew that they were on BOGO before I went to Aldi, but I didn't look at the sales ad. I got some more peanut butter. The whipped cream was BOGO. I got two of those. I got two of the milks for the kids. The Capri Suns were BOGO. I got two of those. I got this one is strawberry kiwi. And then I got a wild cherry. Hopefully Amelia likes these flavors. 
Um, I got two things of Apple Jacks that was on BOGO as well. I wished they had the bigger boxes on BOGO, but they didn't. They were only the smaller ones. Popcorn was BOGO. Kids eat popcorn like crazy on movie night, so we always have to stock up on that. I would have gotten more, but they were almost out. They didn't have enough for me to do the actual BOGO. Like, there was only one left or something of the movie theater butter popcorn. And then I forgot to get rice cauliflower at um, Aldi, so I had to get it at Publix, which was way more expensive. I couldn't find any in Publix brand, so I had to get Green Giant. I think that bag right there was 10 bucks, which is absolutely ridiculous. But I needed it for what we're having for dinner tonight. And then these were not on sale, but no, these were. These were actually BOGO. So I got a Rolo and York Peppermint Patties. Bella loves those, and I think both of the girls um, likes the Rolos. And then the pickles were BOGO. I don't buy these too often, but I just kind of had a little craving for it. Uh, this is the hot sauce flavored buffalo, and they don't expire until like 26, so I went ahead and, and did the two. Now, if you watched last week's, I believe it was last week's uh, grocery haul, I bought one of these jars of Splenda monk fruit. Didn't really need any more. However, they were BOGO, and they these do not expire until 2026. So, might as well go ahead and get it while it's BOGO. Put it in my other pantry, my backup pantry. This is kind of pricey. This was $10 and something. Um, so, I got it buy one, get one free. So, this was a really good deal. These candies were not on sale. Wanted something sweet, so I got the Zero Sugar Reese Cups. They taste just like a regular Reese Cup, in my opinion. And then I like peppermint patties as well, so I got the Zero ones for myself. And then this was not on sale, but I love their pepperoni. Y'all have heard me say it before if you watched other hauls. This is the only pepperoni that I will buy, Publix Deli pepperoni. The olive oil was on sale. This is something else that is a pretty pricey item. I think this was like $21 for the bottle, but I did get it BOGO, so I got two of those. I don't use a ton of olive oil, um, but I do like to have it as backup in my pantry. The sausage was BOGO. Um, these worked out to be like $2 and something each. So I stocked up. I got eight of them. I got four of the hot smoked sausage and then four of the beef kielbasa. So I'll be putting those in my deep freezer and we won't need them for a while. Um, the bacon was BOGO. I got the thick cut Smith filled. I only got two packs of that. I wasn't sure. I probably should have gotten more, but I only did two packs. Um, I got some jumbo eggs. Some Colby Jack cheese, this is for a recipe, and then mild cheddar cheese. Kaysen likes this just to cut it off and eat it. And then I got white American cheese. I don't recall what meal it is I'm gonna be making, but it's for a recipe that called for white American. I got some sour cream. This was not on sale. The cheese was not on sale either. I don't think this cheese was on sale. Um, I got Kaysen some more Spidey Man yogurt. The oatmeal was BOGO. I got two of the dinosaur eggs and then two of the fruit and cream. He likes all of those flavors. Olives were BOGO. Everybody except for myself loves olives, so I got eight cans. I stocked up on them. Um, the turkey was on sale for $9.99, so it's like $3.33 a pound. So I got one pack of that. Probably should have gotten another pack of this as well. And then the pizza rolls. I have not bought pizza rolls in forever because they have not been on sale, but they were BOGO this time, the big packs. So I got two bags of those for Isabella. And that is everything from Publix. I wanted to get some more um, A&W Zero Pop, but they didn't have, it was buy two, get two, and they only had two. So I couldn't get that deal. Um, goldfish was buy one, get one free. They didn't have any of the flavors that the kids like, so I couldn't get that deal. It seemed like there was something else that they had, so I may go back in a couple of days and see if I can get those. But this is everything from Publix. I will put the total on the screen. 
All right, so this is everything from Aldi. I have been out of freezer gallon bags forever. So I finally remembered to get some when I was there. I really need to get to BJ's or Sam's and stock up on that kind of stuff. I got Emmy some more honey roasted peanuts. There's the raisins that I got. I have not had green beans in forever and one of the recipes I'm gonna make this week is kind of like a green bean beef type casserole. So I needed a couple cans of that. So I went ahead and got four cans so I could have them just plain on the side later on in the week. I needed some green chilies, so I got two cans of those and two cans of tomato paste. Do y'all see that sunset out there? <laughs> it is so pretty. Anyways, um, I got, I needed some pepper, back, pepper jack cheese for a recipe, some mild cheddar cheese and mozzarella. I got some sunflower seeds. We're gonna have um, salads and we like to put those in our salad. Some cream cheese, I got two things of that. I got a thing of hamburger meat. This is the 80-20 um, hamburger. We're gonna be doing Jason's sausage rice dish um, that he makes. He hasn't made it in such a long time, but he's gonna make it tonight using collie rice. That's what that big bag of the Green Giant collie rice was for. And we needed a little bit more of the Italian sausage, so I picked up a pack of that. Um, three cucumbers for Easter. I'm gonna make, we're having dinner down at my in-laws, but I'm gonna make the cucumber tomato onion salad that I do. Um, so I got some more cucumbers for that. Those are the tomatoes I'm gonna use. And then a pack of green bell peppers. You get three in a pack there. And I haven't had pimento, I cannot talk today. I have not had pimento cheese in a while, so I got it. Um, I like to put these in my low carb tortillas and roll it up and it makes a really good quick lunch or a snack. Um, I got the zesty jalapeno, it's really, really good. The carb count, there's three grams of carbs in two tablespoons. So put that on a low carb tortilla and you are set. If I liked celery, just raw eating it, I would put it in celery. Sometimes I do and just kind of choke it down, but I really prefer it in the low carb tortilla. I saw this shrimp and I got it. It's wild caught, uh, raw peeled, deveined, tail off. So I went ahead and got two bags of that. Some bananas for the kids, a thing of onions, some jalapeno peppers, lettuce for those salads we're gonna make. Um, cabbage, just a small head of cabbage. And then I saw these and thought I'd give them a try. I don't think I've tried these before. Um, it's keto coconut clusters, pumpkin and sunflower and quinoa. So I thought that sounded interesting. Maybe it could be like a little sweet treat, hopefully, maybe, I don't know. Um, I'll have to let you know what these taste like if they are any good. I'll go ahead and try one here in a second and then I'll put on the screen if they're good or not. <laughs> And that's it from Aldi. So I'll put the total on the screen and let you know how much everything was. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, rest of the day, weekend, whenever you're watching this. You can see the sunset a little bit out there on the lake. So pretty. <laughs> Don't forget to check out Appy Hour and use my coupon code MANDY for 15% off of your first box.